I've been reading random books set in Iowa for fun. Um, and so the latest one I read was What's Eating Gilbert Grape? Um, and of course, I took the dust jacket off because they're awful and ugly. Um, Is this a classic? Like, is this a classic book? I don't know. I mean, like, I, you, I feel like everyone's heard of the name of the book. And it's a movie that is, stars Johnny Depp and Leonardo DiCaprio, like, when they're much younger. So I haven't watched the book yet. Watched the book. <laughs> I haven't watched the movie yet. Um, but I read the book. Um, it's actually written by a guy who grew up in Iowa. And then um, it's set in a fictional town. And this is a weird-ass book. And I don't understand why so many people like it. It's weird. So it's about like this guy, like it's about this family in small town Iowa, right? Like think of like Sigourney, like a couple, a, a little bit bigger than Sigourney, like a couple thousand people, right? Okay. Um, and it's this like group, a family, and it's a group of siblings. The dad killed himself. The mom is like severely overweight, like to the point where like the floor sags underneath of her and they're worried she's gonna fall through the floor. And all she does is like eat and sit in her chair all day. And then one of the sons is um, mentally disabled, has like challenges, I don't know if that's right. Um, and then the rest of the family, like the older siblings like try to take care of everyone and keep things together. And it's like, they make these horrible decisions and it's how they like try to keep the family together and try to get the floor repaired without their mom knowing about it. And the son has like works at a, gro the older son who's like 20 works at a grocery store, um, sleeps with like a married woman down the road, wants to get out of town, but can't like leave his family. And it's really depressing. And the book ends with the mom dying. And they know that they can't get her out of the house because she weighs too much. And they're worried it's going to be embarrassing if a crane comes to lift her out. So they decide to burn the house down so they don't embarrass their dead mom. Like a pyre. <laughs> couch out and a couple other things. And then they light the house on fire together and they sit on a couch in the front yard and watch it burn around their dead mother. What on earth? That's really weird. That's even weirder than 1984. Yeah. <laughs> like, if people like yeah. that book, I'm like, this is horrible. It is, it is not, I don't know, I, I don't know what I thought the book was about, but it is not what I thought it was about. And <laughs> what did you rate it? I don't, like the, let's see, because it wasn't poorly written. It's like a little bit more juvenile, but it's like a well-written book, like the author's good. I just like, I want to, I want to talk to him. I, I want to know how he got the idea for this story. <laughs> It's like supermarket, like so weird that you're like, what the hell? Yeah, the dialogue's better than supermarket, thank God. But yes. So that's not what I would have, I didn't know what it was about. I've obviously seen the pictures online because he wears the Tumblr Bulldogs sweatshirt or a t-shirt in it. So I've seen like those images, but I never knew what it was about. And I would never have pegged it to, to be that. <laughs> yeah. I kind of want to read it now. How long was it? It was, uh, it's like big font, it's 300 pages, but it's like, it's like bigger font, easy read. Um, How long did it take you to get through? Like a week, but I don't read like Andrew's books. So, I think I read it on vacation, I think I finished it on vacation, like when we went to Hawaii, and Brian hates this, but when we're like, I'm reading next to him, I always stop, and it's like, you'll never believe what just happened. And I was like, the mom just died. I don't know how they're going to get her out of the house. And like 10 minutes later, I'm like, they burned down the house, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> He's so annoyed. <laughs> That's very bizarre. Super Like, bizarre. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> it's so <laughs> weird. I don't, I don't know. The town, like, really reminds me of, it's like bigger, right? But it, like, reminds me of when we would go to Keswick in the, in the summers. Um, so. Is it like that time period too? Is it like the 90s? I don't know. I just, <laughs> the only thing I know is like, I don't know the time frame, but like the big thing in town is they're opening a burger barn, like a burger, like fast food restaurant. But I, it's, I think it's the 90s, 80s or 90s. Hmm. 
Um, I had a question. Oh, who wrote it? Who's the author? Peter Hedges. Did you know he's else by him or is he from Iowa or anything like that? He's originally from Iowa, I think somewhere around Des Moines. Um, and he ended up moving out to like LA or something. And he's written a couple other like books since then that have like good awards. Hmm. So that's interesting. We, you should read those. Let us know. I will let you know. I'm, I want to know how he got the idea for the story. I looked it up online. I can't find anything. Is he still alive? You can yeah. email him. I should write him a letter. Can you write him? Or maybe if he's watching this, he'll make a little comment and let us know. Peter, please tell us. <laughs> how were you inspired to write this? Like, what happened in your life that caused you to think of this story? Because it's not like sci-fi. It's not like any, like all those things could have happened. It's just odd to make them all happen. <laughs> That's and there's like odd details too. Like one of the sisters is like obsessed with Elvis and her room's all like decorated with Elvis things. Hmm. And she gets sad and she listens to Elvis records all day. Like just like okay. Yeah. It's weird. To each their own. I know. But I mean it's not a bad book. It's just weird. I think everyone should I mean I would recommend it. What's Carefully. your next Iowa book you're reading? Oh, I don't know. What do I have? Um, Gilead? Gilead? I don't know that one. I have no idea what it's about, but it's set in Iowa, so I bought it. So is the stipulation that it has to be set in Iowa or that it's written by someone who's from Iowa? Set in Iowa. Hmm. Interesting. I read Bridges in Madison County. I didn't know that was set in Iowa. Yeah. Yeah, they have like a huge festival too. We can drive and look at the bridges. That's cool. Mel, you should start reading books set in Arizona. Maybe I will. I like the fantasy realms more. <laughs> <laughs> Give me books set in night court, court only. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But that's a fun uh, hobby or like trend you have. Liz, how many books have you read this year? Not many. Not you should start keeping count because we keep count. So my number right now, I think is 16. So I write them down, oh, but yeah. oh, you can. one, ooh, 17. Six, seven, eight, nine. I'm on 10 right now, that's embarrassing. You need to step it up. And where are you at? 28. Ooh, it's so close to 30. I'm also in school, so <laughs> I'm gonna use that excuse. I have no life, so there's my excuse. I only work four days a week, that's my excuse. You wanna read a really random book set in a small town in Iowa, you should read What's Eating Gilbert Grape. And then you can watch the movie which none of us have seen, but maybe it's good. No idea. <laughs>